Morning. I swear a lot. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Limbus Company. Today is my birthday. It is my 30th birthday. When you're watching this video, when it goes up, it will be my birthday. And I know I've been bringing this up a lot recently in some videos, but 30th birthday is kind of a big deal, as it turns out. So... I figured we'd go for it today. I figured we'd really fucking go for it, and I have a start for you. But first, minor detail. Blade Lineage Mentor Masso is now up to I-4, and so is Captain Ishmael. I'm hoping this will give me a bit of an edge. I've heard that Merceau at level 4, uh, up to I-4, is tremendous, and that's because many of his skills gain additional benefits. I can't remember the exact ones right now, but they do gain them and they are there, and that's very good. This will help us, I'm sure. And I think I remember Ishmael's being a little more visually apparent, where it's like, to me, for instance, now inflicts, I think, more bleed and also provides defense level up to allies adjacent to her. And then uh, Pursuit into the End also provides offense level up, and this is probably better, but I don't remember how. So whatever. This is all well and good. This all helps serve our purposes, because today I'm going to embarrass myself on the internet again, and we're going to go fight the event boss. Yeah, we're going to go give the event boss a go. Because I've uh, been meaning to do this for a while, and now we're finally here, and now is finally the time, and now we can do this. And we will. So, no, no identities have gained levels up, because I haven't encountered the events that give levels up. Those would have been very useful. We didn't get them. Oh, well. But we've got Cigarette Holder. We've got the Black Ledger. We've got a double upgraded Headless Portrait, which seems like it could be useful, but I don't know. I was kind of limited on things I could actually upgrade that would help. Phlebotomy pack, which can keep people alive. Rusted hilt slash power, very useful for a blade lineage squad. Nebulizer, clutch as fuck. Pinpoint logic circuit, fine, I guess. It'll do a little bit. Downpour, I mean, we do have Ryoshu in the team, and she does do tremor burst with oof. That actually could benefit. If we can stagger the boss, whatever his name happens to be, mm -hmm, that would help. Green spirit, sure, more tremor, I guess. Endorphin kit, more poise. Red tassel. That's probably good. Broken compass for more sinking. Skeletal crumbs for more sinking. There's been a lot of sinking gifts. I didn't really have a choice. I kind of didn't. I just picked what I thought I could work with. And we'll see if it does work. And grimy iron stake will be helpful for bleed. So we're going in. And this is pretty... I have fought this twice before. Twice before. And lost both times. The first time, when the turn comes round that they do the thing that then leads up to the rest of the fight, if you kind of catch my drift there, I'll talk about it more in detail when we get in the fight. This is just in case anyone's still here and didn't realize what I was talking about and didn't want this spoiled for them. But in that instance, I've done two different runs, one where I went all out and attacked them during that turn, and another one where I left them alone. I lost both times, but the one where I left them alone seemed like it was more manageable, but also if you didn't manage it in that exact moment, if you didn't win the clash in the right moment, your whole fight fucking team goes immediately but then again in the first one if you go in for it and then you don't manage to kill him quickly you're kind of in dead man walking syndrome anyway and you know you just can't win you've basically lost it's just the game hasn't caught up yet so this is gonna be spooky it's gonna be very spooky uh but you know we can give it a fucking go i suppose that's the team <laughs> I bet if I lose this, people will be like, Hey, Foreman, if you wanted to win that fight, what you should have done was gone rid of Otis. And I refuse to get rid of Otis. I will not do it. I will win this fight with her at my side. So let's see what we can do. And in the spirit of being an old man now, I have to put on my reading glasses so I can fucking look at the screen properly. They're blue light glasses. They protect my eyes. I have to wear them a lot nowadays because of the amount of work I'm doing. They're basically like prescription by this point. There he is! What a fucking unit he is, goddamn. 2,055 HP. Tremor, sinking. He does start with these things and that's helpful, but he gains 15% extra max HP. A boost of blunt damage, which I don't think he's going to be doing too much of. Nope, it's all slash. Good, we're okay. We're okay on that front. And slot weight, which shouldn't matter too much, I don't think, but I don't know. These are all minus coins. When his sanity goes down, the situation gets worse. I see. Uh, I don't know why I never noticed that before. That's a problem. But hey, all I can do is my best, and my best is going to be what you see, probably, unless I really fuck it up. You can deal with Slay, I have confidence in you. Sam. You see, he's not targeting Ishmael, which means Ishmael can't really stop his attacks either. That's not great, that's a problem. Oh. 
All right, well, this first turn is just going to suck, really. That's all there is to it. It's just not going to be a very good turn. I mean, Slay gains poise on Clash win, but it does also inflict a lot of, or at least some bleed, on hit gain one slash damage up next turn. I mean, if next turn we're just clashing properly, then slash damage up doesn't matter because it won't be able to do anything with it. I'm confident that um, Pursue Them to the End will be able to deal with uh, Evade, which means uh, Otis can then come in and do some extra damage. If we can stagger him, that will do a lot for us. But this is about as good as we got going at the moment. Let's see how it go. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Good start. Good start. Happy. Good. All right. Okay. And that does defense level down and defense level down and tremor. And striker stance is doing very well against paralyzer, which is good because paralyzer. Oh, you dick. No. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. It did work out. And we got the follow up attack. That's very helpful. You'll be fine, Don. Don't worry. That was close. But Musso hits like a fucking truck. And Tremor Burst came in. So maybe we'll be able to stagger him relatively soon. He's got low morale, and if I remember correctly, that provides defense level down. Yeah, and attack power up. Attack skills gain final power by the effects count for one turn. And defense level decreases. At least that means that his evade won't be particularly good. So we can kind of get past that. All right, you fucking dick. What do you got? His speed's at one across the board, so we can pick and choose our engagements. And I intend to. Yeah, I do. That's favored. It's better than nothing. But as we point out, we don't actually have a lot of pride resonance going on at the moment, so or even any resonance going on, so. Uh. And Otis doesn't think she can win. Oh, actually, Yi Sang doesn't think he can win. Otis probably can't, yeah. She has a better chance in some cases. I know what to do. Do attack power, inflict attack power down. Yes, that will help. And then, I don't know, just try and, try and hit him. Just try and hit him and do your best and do great and win big points. Good start. It's going better. Lovely, lovely. Okay, right, we're getting there. Come on. Come on. No. Every hit feels terrible. Like, when he hits us, it feels awful, because he hits so fucking hard. But this is such a cool concept, and the music is great as well. Like, it's a really cool track. It's appropriately hype, and for me, who didn't know this was even going to be a thing, this is absurdly hype, right? Like, Bamboo had Kim distorted. How the fuck did that happen? That implies he has ego as well. Like, ooh, 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 there's a lot of things here. You've got him, Ishmael, you've got him. Yeah, you got him, yeah, fuck him up. Good shit. He's now yielding his flesh. Now, how do we play this? I don't think we've done enough damage that we could just kill him. He is pretty close to staggering. Like, really close to staggering, but gain growing resentment next turn, X equals damage dealt by the skill that activated the counter skill, yeah. And to claim their bones, obviously, is ridiculous. He's all attached to his torso if we manage to stagger him. But the thing is, if we staggered him, we wouldn't be able to kill him next turn. I'm not confident that we could do that. We can't afford, we simply cannot afford to allow that to occur. We simply must, uh, you know, do what we can. That's all we've got. We've got some counters, and that concerns me, but I assume it'll be fine. Offset. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. It all comes down to next turn, really. Nice. Very good. Happy. That guards did not work very well. Ooh. I really didn't want I really should have looked into that and not had you paralyzed Musso, but it's too late now. You've just been staggered, you've been tremored. Now you do a big to claim their bones, and I may have already fucked this up. Although you do have yield my Okay, so. Gain three aggro to the skill slot next turn. Until the skill ends, this unit cannot be staggered from taking damage. Clash win, gain five points. Clash lose. After getting hit, use to claim their bone skill. So, the question I have is, is that immediate? Although it's after getting hit, not after losing the clash. Which makes me think we need to win the clash or we'll lose the entire team. 
You're not even fast enough to oppose it. Ryoshu's been um, paralyzed as well, which means our only real hope is either Don Quixote or Otis. I don't think Lissandra de Sancho is going to be enough. Nope, it's hopeless. Would, 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 would Holiday do it? Do you think Holiday would do it? Struggling. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Hopeless. It might be our best bet. <laughs> oh, I mean, is that not literally the best op option I have? I, I don't think there's a better option than that. As far as I can tell, it's either that or we die. So go for it, I suppose. Do your best. Get the points, win the game. And we'll just throw out a bunch of ego because if we do somehow manage to win that clash, I'm not going to then lose the battle because we couldn't beat their other fucking skills. I'll quickly check that. Yeah, it's hopeless. Yeah, it's hopeless. Okay, right. Well, it all comes down to this. But we gotta watch some ego animations first, just to build up tension. I know how much you guys love me building up tension. Please? I mean, obviously this is gonna work. This is not what I'm worried about. If we stagger him, it would cancel, surely. That just occurred to me. So if you guys, I don't know, Archie's got guard. Yeah, he's got guard because of growing resentment. Yeah, never mind. It's not happening. He's got shield. I mean shield, not guard. I know what I mean and you know what I mean. Let's not split hairs. That was a lot of damage. Not enough to really do anything. But it was a lot of damage. All right, here it comes. That's unfortunate. Oh my god, 44, what are you doing? Wait, 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 wait. Oh god, it didn't let me stop it in time. <laughs> I didn't get to quit. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know what to do about that. I mean, I guess letting his SP get low is a bad idea for a start because every all of his, um, all of his attacks are negative coins. Um, obviously you've got to win that clash, that's pretty fucking important. The reason, but I'm fixated on the fact that that version of the fight is the one you have to win, because in the other one he does Blade Dance, which shreds your team. Like, once he starts doing Blade Dance, that's it, it's over, there's nothing else going on. I'm gonna give this a try, because fuck it, we may as well. But I'm not expecting much. Like, the Blade Lineage team went down, and that's about it. We basically want Rodia using what is cast all the time, because it does an absolute shit ton of damage. We want Faust to give everyone SP, because that's helpful. Getting Heathcliff to buff his own attack power would be helpful, and not losing a Clash would also be great. And if you can gain some poise... Well, the sinking only makes the situation worse, but we don't actually have any choice. That's just what Hongler does. <laughs> Gregor, mate, come on! She should do that every single turn because it does so much fucking damage. And it's probably going to be necessary. God, that's pathetic. It's kind of I'm kind of getting him to do it so that he actually gets a decent amount of damage he can put out. It does provide an offense bonus. That is some decent damage as well, admittedly. Keep buffing everyone's SP. I don't trust Gregor to win clashes anymore because he just doesn't seem to be doing it. Alright, here's what we do, yeah. Use that to hit him with bind so he slows down. That's good. That'll help, probably. Big damage. Love to see. Oh, that was close. 
Okay, it's fine though. Big hits. Gregor, I swear to God, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, we have done a lot of damage. We haven't staggered him yet, though. We slowed him down, so now we can pick our engagements. We should probably continue to have Hongla do that. This really is going to be an ego battle. I don't really want um, Gregor to clash this turn because it won't work out. I can tell what is cast is necessary. Very, very, very necessary. He can get attack power up for the turn in which he gets staggered. Although I don't think he will get staggered necessarily. You just use negotiation, even though, oh, well, actually, he's not evading this turn, so it'll be fine. Yeah, you use negotiation start, inflict some, well, you won't inflict any bleed, I don't think, but you'll gain poise, that helps. Good. Good, big damage. Bad hit in return, but it's fine. You got him, Hongle, it's fine, you're just here to inflict binds, that's all you've got to do. Good. Lovely. Close. Don't fucking scare me like that, hey, Heathcliff. I'm getting all your names confused because I'm stressed. <sighs> the damage was pathetic, but that's okay. This will be the big hit. This is the one that makes the difference. Except she rolled tails. So it's not going to do nearly as much. Or flipped tails, whatever. 54 is not nearly as much as I was hoping. <laughs> Why is everyone flipping tails all the time? I know their SP is kind of going down. I understand the logic behind it, I'm just frustrated. <sighs> it's fine. Tremor. He's nearly staggered. Well, what we're doing, really, is hoping to stagger him before <laughs> before that's a thing. That's really the only hope we have. Yeah, use Land of Illusion so you can heal your SP. You don't need to bind him because uh, it won't matter, basically. If all goes according to plan, he'll be staggered anyway. If it doesn't go according to plan, then we have to hope Faust rolls a fucking miracle, which I doubt somehow, because it's 19 plus 4. So we're really relying on staggering him this turn, which is not going to work because he gets a shield. Would this do better? I'd be struggling, but it is better, but ah! Ah! Relying on him to roll heads multiple times <laughs> at minus 35 sanity. All right, I've got a better idea. Uh, you know what? I've got a better idea. What I've got is a better idea, okay? Don't engage with to claim their bones. Just hit him as well, because we're faster, so the attack will land before he gets to do it. So we got. That was something. Good God, that was close. Even assuming I win this little bit I'm doing, you know, like this particular part of the battle, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to win the fight. Oh, Greg just took a lot of bleed damage. That was a crit. Thank God you rolled it heads. Rolled it heads, yeah. But thank God you rolled it, it because you desperately needed to. <laughs> Good, big damage. Almost broke his shield. I don't even know how much damage this will do. Will this even do much? I don't know. It's not a particularly high damaging attack. It's kind of going to be up to Faust, isn't it? Yeah, it was 17 damage. Broke his shield. Okay, right, Faust, I need you to fucking nail him. Like, really, really, really hard. That was some damage. I think it staggered him. 
<laughs> ah, fool. All right, well, we got a moment to breathe, don't we? Okay, all right, good. Great. Now, Hong Lu, you're going to need to uh, slow him down again. I mean, I really want you to keep on top of people's SP. You need to keep using what is cast because it does so much damage. And then the rest of you can just kind of go for him, I guess. Though I'd like to hold on to engagement because it's a better clasher than Ramiz. Okay. That was some damage. That was some damage. That was some damage. You roll tails. It's like you hate me. I'm out of tea. I've been sipping it. It's like a nervous tick. And you roll tails as well. Because her SP is actually getting a bit low. Uh, nice. 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 Oh, there we go. That's what we wanted to see. This should do a lot of damage. Theoretically. Theoretically. Yeah, yeah, it's a fair amount. Yeah, it's because his health dips below 50%, so he wasn't doing extra damage anymore. And he's not doing um, flesh claiming or bone yielding or anything this turn. So that's good. And he's been slowed down, so we can act accordingly. Faust is running out of uh, SP, though, but she's going to need to keep it up. We actually want to feed her a really easy win because she needs to perform her attack, and if she doesn't, we're fucked. You need to keep slowing him down. It's quite important. Try for him with that, I suppose. You'll probably miss, but it's okay. Oh, that's a lot of bleed. Oh, that was very nice. Now it's a lot of damage. Yeah, here's what it is. Oh, God. <laughs> that was some damage. Very fucking... Don't fucking scare me like that. We might not need to rely, or it might not even be a good idea to rely on that so much now because it's not doing nearly as much damage as it used to, though it still does more damage than most of our attacks. And the bleed is helpful. That's a lot of tremor burst. He can be staggered again. I don't, hmm. Actually, she does need to for Hong Le's sake. You're doing fine, Faust, just keep it up. I'm sure Rodeo will actually roll heads this time. It's as good a chance as it could possibly be. Ah, oh, we're out of the... Ah, oh, I see. We can't slow him down anymore. Oh, okay. We were burning through it like a motherfucker. Good enough. Give it a go. Big hits. Ah, oh, heads please. Thank you. Nah, I didn't think it would. Landing a unilateral business would be... Okay, well, you landed one, and it did 64 damage, to be fair, which is quite a lot. The poise stuff's still coming in handy, but it's mainly that tremor burst shit that's uh, helping us out the most right now. It's actually lowering his uh, stagger threshold by a significant amount each turn. He's taken a lot of damage. We might have him. We might have him. If we can stagger him at just the right moment, we could just end the battle. Unless, of course, his final phase, he decides he's not staggered and doesn't care anymore. Oh, he's got blade dance going. Well, he's actually below his stagger threshold. At 20% uh, HP gains new pan. At 20% HP starting next turn, gain 20 growing resentment every turn. And it no longer expires. The good news is these two are going first, which means they'll take the blade dances. They'll probably get staggered, but they won't die. But it does kind of mean we need to kill him this turn. You know what I mean? The only other good news is that he doesn't really have an, men, as many attack. Oh, he's using to claim their bones. Ah. Oh. He's using the single target one as well, and he's targeting 
Gregor, who will not survive that. Hopeless. Hopeless. Yeah, that's hopeless, all right. Oh, and he gains, he does heal HP equal to growing resentment value, but his growing resentment is not very high. Which means he won't heal a ton from doing that. Not like in the other, like, basically guaranteed death state scenario where he has 999 growing resentment and he just full heals every turn. I mean, Greg, uh, shit, dude, you may as well try, but uh, fucking, you're done. Like, it is kind of over for you. The battle is over for you. Only means the rest of us are gonna have to step up super fucking hard. Oh, that's going for Gregor. Wait, won't that attack be wasted as a result? If so, that's actually kind of good. I'm guessing you can't... Yeah, you can't do that anymore. Okay. Just swing at him then, I suppose. Not a lot else you can do. And I'm convinced that what is cast is still doing an incredible amount of damage. So keep it going. This could be where things start to go wrong. That's a lot of damage. Wait, if that's doing fatal damage, then I think he got staggered. Oh, it's over! <laughs> Ooh, yes! Ah, uh, it's elementary, my dear children. All you have to do is just play real good. Like I did. Finish him, Faust. You've earned it. You kind of kept the team propped up this whole fucking time. <laughs> so my Blade Lineage team failed, and this uncoordinated group <laughs> managed to do it. Interesting. Not how I foresaw that going. Okay. Fine. Whatever. I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it. Uh... Was this your... <laughs> Was this your strategy the whole time, Merso? Just throw the fight and let the non-Blade Lineage team members handle it? Because if so, it worked like a charm. Surely you get bonus rewards for being, um, Kim. Like, I can't tell if that's bonus or not. That is a lot of scabbards, though. Lovely. Fantastic. Love to see it. Okay, well, that went well. Okay, well, uh, you know, let's celebrate, shall we? I'll do a little, little celebrate. And we'll do a nice little temple as a celebration of our success. He's saying ideality from target extraction. Hong Lu has been converted to thread. And yeah, the yield my bone. So I got a lot of thread for that, actually. That's quite nice. I'm happy to fucking try and go into this, right? I'd love to get these lure identities. I want more lure identities. So I'm happy with this. Let's fucking go for it. Yeah. Come on, give me something good. What do you got for me? Yeah, okay, that's pretty decent. We'll build hype as normal. So uh, yeah, once um, the first team lost against Kim and quite decisively as well, it wasn't particularly close. I was like, well, I wanted to have a cool moment where I beat him on camera, but evidently it's just not happening, and I did not expect the second team to be able to handle it, but I was like, fuck it, let's let's give it a try, let's just see what happens, you know, we've got resources, let's use them. Never would have in a million years expected them to win. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes I do. I can actually have a lure team. I think I'm, I've almost got enough people. If I manage to get Roji as well, then definitely. Come on. Yeah. Oh, go on. <laughs> incredible. 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 And the Ishmael in the corner is also incredible. This is top tier, Rodia. <laughs> She's got a ham ham pang pang bag. Oh. <laughs> this is top tier, Rodia. I love this. This was one of... This. This. Exactly this is why I get upset when something happens and I don't get to see this. Because these little moments when you actually get them are sometimes amazing. And this one was great. Oh, I'm so happy with that. I got exactly what I wanted out of that. That's like the two fucking advertised on the front. 
Yeah, it's literally the two. <laughs> well, I did it. Uh, yeah, I did it. Yeah, well, I got all I wanted out of that targeted extraction. Let's do a paid standard. Just to round it off. I would love to get the two remaining Blade lineage members, which is uh, Faust and Sinclair, but that'll be when it'll be. Yeah, we just got a Heathcliff. That's fine. Let's have a look at our new friends. I know um, the story has been knocked back a bit today, but we are doing it. Don't worry, we are. Uh, no more Mirror Dungeon fiascos until the next tier list, whenever the fuck that'll be. Uh, where are you? Oh, yes! Amazing. Flaming Fists, burn, burn. Fiery knife hand combust. Burn count, burn count. The target has plus six plus burn count. Apply three burn to two targets with no burn. Or with the least burn count. Pinpoint blitz. If the target has six plus burn and burn count, deal 30% more damage. Inflict burn, inflict burn, inflict burn, inflict wrath. Affinity damage equal to half of burn potency on target. Reduce target's burn count by two. Counter that inflicts burn. Deal 5% more damage for every 6 burn potency on target, max 15%. Combat start if enemies all have 6 plus burn potency, apply 1 wrath damage up to highest wrath A resonance allies in deployment order. In focused encounters, the above activates when all enemy parts have 6 plus bur burn potency. Passionate cheer, one ally with the least SP deals 5% extra pierce damage for every 6 burn. That's fine, I suppose. I mean, I've heard that like burn is not a very good um, effect to lean into and that the characters are kind of lacking, but fuck, I definitely want to look into that, because that's so cool. <laughs> and Rogia looks so happy. <laughs> well into it. Uh, what about uh, Ryoshu? Lure. Burn, burn, all out war. Very nice. Fiery knife hand, inflict burn. If target has six plus burn, more damage. Flame cleave. If target has six plus burn, clash power plus one. That's usually pretty helpful. Uh, burn, 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 burn. If target has enough burn, deal 20% extra damage. When his unit defeats an enemy with burn, apply four burn to one random enemy with no burn or with the least burn potency once per turn. And focused encounters to one random part. When. <laughs> <laughs> when one ally with the lowest speed defeats an enemy with burn, inflict three burn on one random enemy once per turn. Cool. Well, they're not going to be nearly as effective as Encorp or um, Blade Lineage, but I would still love to lean into the Lure Association stuff, because, you know, we've got Lure Greg, which I haven't really looked into since I've learned more about the game, and Lure Hong Lure, which, once again, I still haven't really looked into much since I've learned more about the game. I think that's all of our Lure Association stuff, isn't it? I'm just going to have a quick look. Don't mind me. Play amongst yourselves. Ah! Lure Merso. Brilliant! So he can continue to be relevant as well. And do stuff. Probably not very well, but he can do stuff. Delightful. Stupendous. Magnificent. I love it. Back to Canto 4. Traitor. Yes, there's a traitor. Glaring at Shren, Otis stops on the way, having made some kind of conclusion. I couldn't begin to guess what it could be, so I decided to stay and eavesdrop. Like a huge coward. Shrenne, Papioni Mome Tionunde, Orlun Tui Panange, Nati Ankeso. Yeah, I mean, some people are using them to literally fix their sprained foot or ankle or wrist or whatever. You may as well use it. Quintana. I don't buy it. I think you're full of shit. Shrenne running just back up to Mong and Boy and the Quintana Gunga. I think her ex might have just exploded in front of her eyes. I don't know, just guessing. Mong at. Blank face, you crazy boy. Otis has suspicions. This is all the proof we need. I mean, robots, but yeah, I see your point. Who? <laughs> I like the idea that if any sinner is like, I'm thinking something, but I'm not sure if it's smart, they'll look at Merso and go, is this smart? And he'll either nod or shake his head. And that will inform their next action. Ah, Merso agrees. We've come to the conclusion, Sinclair, that you're too short. I'm sorry. It's just the way of things. I dare say. Must be, must be. 
지금 이 자리에서 즉시 처분하는 것이 옳다. Dispose of them. Traitor. I blankly watched as he brought up a concept foreign to me. Yeah, because we haven't had any trait. Well, actually, what's his fucking name from Kanto 1? That absolute douchebag. I hate him so much, I don't actually remember his name. But Specky McFuckface from uh, uh, Kanto 1, who uh, left us all to die. Yeah. Hey, that's kind of a traitor, although we had no real allegiance to each other, I suppose. Still, he did betray us. It would be a bit weird if one of us was a traitor. Although, well, I suppose it could be Yi Sang. We don't know. I mean, yeah, why are we exposing ourselves to uh, uh, intrigue and plots? I mean, we do need the golden bow, bow, bow. It's golden bow. We do need the golden bow, though. We don't care if you guys trust each other, we don't trust you. That's kind of the point. Samjo argued, flashes of light furiously bouncing off of his glasses. So even Dongrang thinks there's a traitor, so there must be. Because he's a science guy. Hmm. I'd be rather upset if Samjo was the traitor. He's very annoying, but I do like him. Yes, yeah, because I haven't done anything. And as it's been established, we, the sinners, are all insane, thereby excluding us from that uh, description. There is one more thing. Hmm. ああ、メイビー、メイビー。オーデーワンハンギングアラウンドフレンズ、そう。はい、こう。チェガユドクチカミティオナンピョニラグヌン。ウェアムドセンガグルアナシナヨ。え、ポーザー。ガジュジュス
Music is fucking bumping. They are actually genuinely pretty good. The clash values are not as good as I as I would have hoped. Only harpoon of obsession, eh? We'll just go top line, I suppose, and see what we can do. Well, they're dead. Yep, they're out. Good night. Thank you for playing. I notice they're not dying. They're just retreating. Interesting, 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 interesting. Just win race it. Fuck it, we're done here. Get him, you sang. Yes. 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 I still need to uptie for him desperately. Really need to do that. Because I've heard he gets really fucking good. I'm pretty sure I haven't anyway. I'll check after this fight, just to make sure. Oh dear, you're all alone. Goodbye, sir. Yield your flesh if you would. Youch. Ah, and there's Nico. He's probably quite strong. You've got passives. Gain resonance. When triggering tremor burst or raising stagger threshold, deal 3% fixed damage per count and further raise stagger threshold by 3% per count. Number of head coins that are successfully hit during a turn inflicts more tremor by the number of allies that have died this wave. When alone, gain one resonant and one tremor sink every turn. When alone, marks the last unit that attacked this character as a target next turn. Ah. Huh. They do appear to be going for it. I think we'll be okay. But I don't know, we'll see. He's already taking bumps. His ally's already dying. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Ooh. Good. Oh, buddy. I'm sorry, it's not close. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> But it's obviously going to turn out that they're not traitors. Oh, it becomes a focused encounter. Or does it? No, I'm an idiot. Never mind. Uh, it's obviously going to turn out that they're not traitors. They just didn't want to consent to taking a truth tablet. That's literally going to be the whole thing. Well, convince him if you would. Oh, it's going to be a bad time for you. Yes, yes, it's going to be a... Oh, it's a bad time. Yes, it's a bad time for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a bad time for you. Oof. Nice, nice. Good job, lads. Quick and easy. First wave was more difficult, strangely. Well, of course, the party needs a minute to get up and running. The poise bonuses and such. Yeah, he sang so... Ah, oh, fuck it. I should get him to up type 4. Coin power plus one for every five poise count, max three. That's very nice. Otis and Musso claim that there's a traitor in our group. Nico from Rosepan, a workshop, denied the accusation, but the suspicion wasn't without reason. The sinners were now confronting the people they were talking with mere moments ago. This one is an outsider turning against us, but it made me wonder how long our bond could last. Indeed. <laughs> Let's get Angela in here. <laughs> nice. Cool. Thing is, I unlocked her, but I had my game muted when I unlocked her, so I didn't even get to hear the opening spiel. <laughs> I need a moment. My third arm is feeling a little frail. Or it might be after, like, Ishmael works your gut for like 15 minutes. Oh, we're fucked. Sink is up next. <laughs> Shred, tell them you're the traitor. Help us out. Interesting. Why? You've been ratted out. Young lady. <laughs> what, you were gonna die for that contract? Why? Uh-huh. 
뭐 제일 간단한 방법이 있지 않겠어요? Yeah, you should take a regeneration ampoule. After fiddling with the regeneration ampoule in his hand, Dong Rang made a sudden move. He quickly jabbed the ampoule into the unguarded fixer's body like a dagger. <laughs> I bet they turn out to be decay ampoules. The fixer tried to remove the ampoule, but its content had already entered the system. Hmm. Yeah. About that. Yeah, yeah, I bet it is. The fixer's limbs began to twist in strange angles. Ooh. Then some things started protruding through the flesh. What the fuck did she bring? Collapsed on the floor, the fixer tried to yell something but failed to make any sound. Yeah, it's a little familiar, yeah, it's just a little bit familiar, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Resembling lavas or snails. Oh dear indeed. I do believe this is quite a bother, isn't it? It appears your fixer has melted, no, transformed, turned into a cocoon, is no longer a fixer. Evidently you did. True. Yeah, maybe you should have bought like a better weapon or better employees. Is it a fight again? Are we fighting again? Yes. <laughs> Angela is not that incompetent. Although that's not, I don't think that's incompetence. I think that's a complete lack of caring. So yeah, no, that checks out. Someday we'll get to you to claim their bones. Someday it'll happen. And it'll be great, but it won't be anytime soon, and it probably won't be outside of a mirror dungeon or a boss fight. That's okay. We've got harpoon of obsession to tide us over. Thank you, Angela. I appreciate it. It's been a while since I've played Runa. Good. Good, 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 I believe I shall. Say, so it's been a long while since I've played Runa, so I haven't heard her voice in a very long time. Why are we still fighting them, though? Like, nothing about what happened there implied to me that combat was going to break out again, and we've already beaten their leader, so... Surely it's kind of a foregone conclusion by this point. I know Twin Hook Gregor isn't here, but it still kind of is. Oh, not even close. It's a shame, because, like, I'm already getting to the point where I'm like, yeah, I think I should move on from the Blade Lineage team soon and try out something else. Like, my, at the moment, my thoughts are I should try out a lure team. But I really like Blade Lineage. They're very cool. But I would love to see a team of acrobatic, unarmed combat, fire-wielding people. That would be a good time. I think it would make for a fun visual effect. And it will actually make the future uh, combat encounters in the Kantos a little more challenging. Because as someone pointed out in the comments, like, well, you've got Maso now, so goodbye to any challenge in the story, really. Like, you've pretty much got it on lock. And we don't want to go through all the Kantos with no challenge, do we? That sounds kind of boring. Like, we got to spice things up a little bit, literally in some cases. How many fixes did they bring? <laughs> Submitted a request for a high five. I cannot, in my mind, ever imagine Angela giving someone a high five. Not Roland, not Malchus, no one. Not a single person. Oh look, more combat. Shocking, truly. Truly I am shocked. Oh, they're flying alongside the robots now. They really are traitors, like straight up. There's actually no contesting it now. Because they're working with the terrorist forces. Interesting. Oh my god, it happened. Yes. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, finally. At the most unlikely moment, <laughs> finally <laughs> claim to their robot bones. Oh, beautiful. Now I'll admit, with the way that this game is, you know, and with all the effort they're putting into uh, the animations and such, I was kind of expecting something similar to um, Distorted Kim's or me, like, and on the level of like, you know, Furioso and stuff, where it's like a proper sequence of attacks that absolutely dusts the enemy. So it was a little underwhelming, but still, I got to do it and I'm happy now. No chance. They're so good. Oh, Nico's back, hey. I've got to be honest, having Nico show up this late in the fight means I'm not particularly concerned because we've built up ahead of steam. Also, now we have up tie for Yi Sang, so it's not going to be close. Really isn't. It's just, oh, it's just not even close. It's worth pointing out, Kanzo 4 is where this stuff is supposed to at least start getting tough. And like, there's still plenty of time for it to get tough. And I don't doubt that it might, but at the moment, it's not close. It's just not close. <sighs> oh, Nico's dead, straight up dead. Don Quixote killed him. He's gone. Good night, Harin. See you next time. Now would be the time, yes. Shren blankly looks at Dong Rang, her face wooden as if she's forgotten how to make an expression. Yeah. Maybe he's not surprised. Who knows? Not our fault, our text more broken than yours. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, I dare say. You were snooping in her browser history? My god. Is he allowed to do that? <laughs> That's absurd. So there's a little bit of jealousy involved, perhaps. Aww. Oh, they just wanted to be friends. Miss you, Ran. <laughs> God's sake. No, Dong Rang's making it up just to be funny. It's a pretty cushy job, so what's the catch? <laughs> uh-huh. You. Oh. What happened? We couldn't hear the rest of what Shren tried to say. Oh. At first. Oh. Oh. At first. Oh, boy. At first, it looked like a thin red line was drawn on her body. Then we realized that it wasn't just a line.
Gregor. I, I think she's far beyond. Hmm. Cut, cut clean in half. Fluid splashed from the severed hemispheres of her brain as if to convey that regeneration ampules won't heal this. I like how <laughs> Ryoshu barely fucking moved. <laughs> Did Ryoshu actually do that? Because if so, that was one hell of a cut. The people who slew Shren, along with the wall behind her, without letting even their footsteps be heard, were... Okay, it wasn't Ryoshu. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> it would have been a pretty big power move, though. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> and Ryoshu saw all of this coming, apparently. Which is pretty cool, I have to admit. <laughs> Sheer association. Yeah, I suppose that would be, wouldn't it? Ooh. Interesting. Very interesting. I doubt they're here for a fight. They were likely here to just take care of Shren, and now that they've done that, they'll probably leave. Yeah, nah, they were clearly for real. Hmm. I think she needs to pull herself together. Gone already. Ryoshu clicked her tongue and complained about the assassin's retreat, even though I couldn't hear or see them at all. How tragic. Evidently, but they're both dead now, so it's kind of moot. Yep. True, but I don't think the sinners have much to gain from such a thing. It kind of bounds to... Well, I don't know. Hmm. It's weird, because the sinners are simultaneously in a place where it's like... I could not imagine a single one of them turning traitor, and at the exact same time, I could imagine all of them turning traitor. It's a weird position we're in. Not sure there's any point in telling me this. Not even slightly, and 100% completely. I'm sorry, what? I read their files. Yeah, it's Sisang. You don't know that I don't know because we haven't spoke because you can't hear me. Fool. Assassins claimed Shren's life. Dong Rang didn't appear too shocked by her death, even though they had joined the wing at the same time. He says internal conflict is like a cycle of some kind. How much trust do I have in the sinners, and how much trust do they have in me? With questions I won't be able to answer, we headed for the place where the golden bow bow resonated. Are we close? There's surely going to be a dungeon. Looks like we're almost there. I can sense the golden bow resonating nearby. Bow. We're nearing the target location, yes. I don't care about that shit. Yeah, that's... Mm, yeah. Is Yi Sang going to have a Yi Sang moment? Yi Sang picks up an ampoule Shren dropped from the floor and carefully examines it. <laughs> it's the same. あかケイサイサウンドクンドルがキゲドリマタトゥルテイスマイルヤンゲケカンジュロチュイプデオトンプングエンプリライトンゴクワトンイランギュチゲナンバヨ。Are they all the K ampoules? 
앰프를 분류하는 고유 넘버링 방식이죠. 앞자리가 오면 오리지널. 어, 잠깐. 이걸 왜 설명해 주는 거지? <웃음> Wait, why am I explaining this again? Why, why, why am I bothering? 오리지널. 이스마일 양에게 주입되었던 붕괴 앰플 역시 그 본질 또한 재생 앰플과 다르지 아니하였는가? Mm-hmm. The question I have. <laughs> It begs the question of where Yi Sang's going with this. Is it either going to be a brilliant moment of insight or. or a Yi Sang moment, I suppose? Yi Jaseng Ampurun Moralka. Jongju de Jian and Wone Gigodinio. Tejung Jagin Jaseng Ampurun Chogum Talayo. So it's stronger? Hmm. Chigum Musun Sengagal Hago, sir. I'm thinking about Pastor. I don't know about you. I'm good though. Nothing. I believe that. I believe that Yi Sang could simultaneously be thinking about nothing and everything. Uh-huh. But why? <웃음> 그래도 섭섭하네. 오랜만에 제외한 옛 버스에게 반갑다는 인사를 건넬 시간은 많았을 텐데. He sang's not really an expressing joy kind of guy, as far as I can tell. 곁에 남은 버스는 더는 없다고 생각하여. But what about us? What about us? 변한 게 없구나. 넌 예전부터. 소중한 걸 병속에만 간직한 채 구경하는 걸 즐겼지. Strangely specific. 그대는 그걸 밖으로 내보이고 싶어 견딜 수 없어 하였고. And is that why you guys didn't get on very well? 보시라 하였는가? 이상, 자네는 이 여정 속에 제외하는 벗이 아주 많군. <웃음> 지난번에도 그 음흉한 색안경을 낀 자를 마주했지 않았나? The one wearing a tinted eyewear did confront thee? I don't get it. Aha! The joy of the joy was already enjoyed. So, I'm so proud of you. Tinted eyewear? Why am I struggling to place that? Hmm. Nope, it's not coming to me. <웃음> 그런데 이걸 어떡하지? 아직 한명더 남아 있는 모양인데. Oh, what do you mean? 수련 내 밀고로 조직원들은 이 건물을 이미 다 빠져 나갔다고 생각했는데. Really? 그건 아니었나 보네요. What? Someone walks in, exuding a suffocatingly thick scent of flowers. Oh, do you mean, uh, from Herman's group, whatever the fuck they're called. The one that Yi Sang spoke to and was like, Ah, oh, yes, my equivalent in this fucking group or whatever the fuck. It's been a long time. God, I didn't remember that at all. Holding a bright golden branch in her hand, an object now familiar to me. She had a worn monochrome photograph in her other hand. Huh. Maybe it's because you're a tool. 사진 돌려주지 않겠어? 안 그래 보여도 소중하게 간직하고 있었던 거라. 동락님. 함부로 다가가지 마십시오. 위험합니다. Yeah, but everything is, so what does it matter, really? 선원, 성급하게 나서지 마라. 황금가지가 파괴될 수도 있다. Don't worry, you sang will just do talk no jutsu and it'll be fine. 판단에 동의한다. I agree with it. That's Otis from her, so you can't just call her it. That's rude. Faust가 금방 해소할 방법을 떠올릴 거예요. Thank you, Faust. 자꾸 두드려패서 해결하지 못할 것들만 나오냐, 이 <laughs> Heathcliff, it's only because you can't pummel it hard enough. Anything can be solved with a hard enough pummeling. 
Everyone yells and shouts with their own goal in mind. Regardless of the noise, the person with the golden bow, Bao, steadily walks this way. However, instead of going for Dongrang... Oh. Oh, she stabbed Yi Sang. Well, that's okay, he can be resurrected. Huh. She plunged the golden bow in her hand into Yi Sang's chest, which probably didn't do him many favors. And Yi Sang collapses on the ground. I have no idea what you're on about, even slightly. Yi Sang! <laughs> I love that these dramatic moments are interrupted by Dante's clock. You can have this back. Dong Beg? Okay. Even while drenched in blood, the golden bow still glows. Contrasting the golden dazzle, that person looks like they have a clock face. The faded monochrome photograph slowly falls to the floor. There's a happy Yi Sang. That's weird. Is that a not happy Dong Rang? Interesting. Because I'm running out of time. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't worry if you're if you're concerned that um, we're going to be doing face cam all the time. We're not. Don't worry. This was just a mild thing to do. As be like, hey, it's a birth video on my birthday. We'll do something a little bit different. It's pretty much only going to be for the uh, tier list mirror dungeon videos, which there aren't going to be that many of in the foreseeable future, because we've got one for after Canto 5, four, sorry, four and a half, actually, because we've got to do the Intervalo as well, and then Canto 5 and what's associated with that as well, and then we just got away for Canto 6, which apparently is coming relatively soon, so there might actually be more stuff like this in the future, so that'd be pretty cool, but um, yeah, this won't be the norm. Don't worry about this. This won't be a thing. If everyone floods the comments saying, is this going to be the norm? I will ignore you because I've literally just said it's not. And a lot of people don't finish a video before asking a question. And if I answered every question that was posed before a video was finished, I would not have time to make the videos in which the people don't watch fully to ask, uh, have the questions answered that they then ask in the comments. <laughs> I digress. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for turning out. Next time, we must be getting close to the end of Canto 4. If we've found the Golden Bow, then we must be very close to the end. So, we'll see what happens, but I don't know. I get the feeling like Canto 4 is really long, so maybe we're not. But so far, I'd say the Canto 4 has been all right. So, honestly, it's been the week so far, right? I appreciate we're not done. I appreciate there might be a lot more. But so far, I would honestly say it's been the weakest Canto so far. It's not been bad. But it's not stood out either. It's been an adventure, and I always enjoy having another fucking Limbusy adventure. I enjoy having more story, more cutscenes, more character moments, and all that. It's all been great. But in comparison to 3, 2, and 1, and even Hell's Chicken, as a matter of fact, it's fine, I guess. But we're not done. There might be something big coming up that will change my opinion on it entirely. But as it currently stands, eh, eh. But we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Kamenira, Moa, Heartland, Harak J, Draft, Dresso, Sion Distance, LOL, Final Legend, Etherbin, Linky, Zeon Cedar, Bimble Wards, Majoko My Moon, Alkir, Honeydew Corporation, Sweet Baby Red, Lord Skullington, Jessica Kitty, Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Lepa Lullaby, K Bub, Magic Howl, The Frostbite, Monsoon, Warmaster OQ, SCP 106A, Nomad, and Kenny T800 for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you all so much for watching. Yeah, no, it's been a good time. Just because this Canto hasn't been much of a standout doesn't mean I'm not enjoying it. I am enjoying it very much. As I have every single Canto up until this point, as I have just playing the game in general. Surprised we beat Kim. Didn't think we would. Glad we did. Kind of surprised the Blade Lineage team lost. I reckon if I fought it again, I could probably win with the Blade Lineage team. I reckon I could do a better job, but I don't really care which team won as long as we won. That's really all I cared about, and we did it. And next time... Maybe the end of Canto 4, I really don't know how long the Canto is. Obvi no, wait, I'm an idiot. I can immediately find out how long the fucking Canto is. Yeah, we're just about halfway. We've got plenty to go before we're done here. 
We're literally halfway, actually. Yeah, we've got plenty more to do. Fucking ignore everything I said. I'm an idiot. I wasn't looking. I wasn't reading. You know, these guys know me. I don't fucking read. What else is new? Yeah, no, there's plenty more to go, and there's plenty of time for Kanto 4 to turn it around. So ignore the, most of the shit I said. Don't worry about it, all right? I'm looking forward to doing more. I was anyway, doubly so now, because there's clearly a lot more to go. I always want more. But whatever happens next time, hope I see you there. Doodles. Goodbye.